G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, the other day in comments, someone said that I should have a go at that guy. I said, which guy? And he said, that guy. I said, I don't know who you mean, you have to be more specific. He goes, here, this guy. That, which guy? Oh, that guy? He said, yeah, that guy. Oh, yeah, this guy. Yeah, okay, we'll have a go at that guy. Uh, okay, it's got confusing, but <laughs> anyway, sure, we can do that. Let's do it. And for earbud users, Desert File just might make an appearance, so be warned. Oh, and before I start, I know that Wade's Underworld, great bloke that he is. If you haven't subscribed to him, you really should. He's done some brilliant stuff. He's pretty much covered all of this stuff I'm going to talk about today, but he also loves stitching Himawari and cloud photos together. He does it better than me. So if you haven't seen Wade's stuff, jump on him and give him a sub and a like. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Hey, that guy, why are you doing this in a car? Is this the only place you're allowed to do this sort of um, flat stuff, hey? Eh? Not allowed to do it at home. Yeah, I guess not. Um, dude, talking about unconstrained, why is your chest unconstrained? What's going on there? What is it? What is it with flatties and not wearing clothes? Oh my goodness. What's up everybody? That guy again, coming at you with question number two in exposing the ignorance of the globe tard belief. If you uh, watched my last video, you should already be 100% wrecked if you have any common sense, but... Okay, while well, this guy's rambling, second thought, why does this brain on this body not think to wear a seatbelt to preserve the body that supports him? That's not a very good brain. Just tie a knot in it. <laughs> Believing in the globe proves otherwise. Evidently, some people would do this shit for like five, six years, years, months and months for others, you know, like Simon Dan is still doing this shit for like six years. Conspiracy cats or baldy cats or Bob the science guy are all picking up a balloon, blowing into it and letting it go. Confused, just so confused about why the gas won't stay in the balloon. It doesn't need a container. Um, that guy, Simon Dan, Conspiracy Cats, Bob the Science Guy. Where's Wally? Wolfie, all of us guys, we're gonna keep doing what we're doing until you actually come up with some facts. You haven't actually brought a single fact yet, so of course we're gonna keep doing it. It's science, mate. Just tie a knot in it, right? Just stay in the balloon while the rest of us flat earthers science knowledgeable people with common sense and an IQ above 30. Hey, did this guy just admit that his IQ is 31? I'm sure that's what it is, but he admitted it. Just tie a knot in it. Understand you're gonna need to tie a knot if you want the pressure to stay in the balloon. So how long are you going to keep picking up this balloon and filling it up and letting it go before you realize the fucking problem. How many times? I don't know. It's fun. Why not? Do it again. Just tie a knot in it. It's been months. But, 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 but gravity! But, but gravity! Gravity, you fucking retard! Gravity! Have you ever heard of fucking gravity? Gravity! Gravity! Just tie a knot in it. Nope. The gas pressure is moving in all directions. According to your model of gravity, it would only be moving down. So if you filled the balloon and didn't tip it over, and held it like this, where the open end was up, gravity should still be holding it into the balloon. Blue Marble Science has already done a video where he showed that you can easily have a gas pressure inside an unconstrained container. He put some butane in a pipe that was unconstrained at the top, and guess what? It all just sat in there due to gravity. But when you guys realized that your argument had a hole in it, at the top that is, you quickly called Nick's Sports Field Relocation Services move the goalposts, and you now say that container walls are not allowed either. Oh dear. Okay, that's fine, we can work with that. Just tie a knot in it. You wonder why we call the globe tart brainwashed? It's the inability to think beyond what you were programmed with. 
And if you can't even listen and comprehend the globe or the uh, flat earth arguments, that means you're brainwashed. No, mate, it's education. Education teaches you how to think, not what to think. Just tie a knot in it and still the globe tart. Gravity, 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 gravity. Gravity! But the gradient, you don't understand. See? Well, of course there's a gradient. What happens with your ears when you get in an elevator? Do they pop? You drive up a mountain, your ears pop? That's just proof of the gradient, mate. Just tie a knot in it. Down here, the surface is 14.7, and then as you go up, it's less and less, and then at the surface, it's near zero. Gradient. Oh, shit. Why didn't we think of gradient? Oh, finally, you actually know about gradient. Well, why don't you save us all the trouble beforehand? We've got five minutes in and you already knew about it. Oh, I might as well just pack up and go home now. Just tie a knot in it requires a container and is the fucking cause of the pressure. The effect of gradient is pressure. Cause and effect. They're one and the fucking same. The weight of the atmosphere above creates pressure below just like swimming in a fucking swimming pool or being in a dog pile common sense to have gradient of a fluid or gas you're going to need a container oh hang on you don't need a physical container though do you this is where you flatties get this argument all wrong all knotted up shall we say Look, here's a thought experiment. Yes, I know that's a tricky move on my part, but let's give it a go. So I'm standing on the ground and I'll draw around myself a one metre by one metre square. Now let's project that square right up to the vacuum of space. OK, so now I've got a big column of air. So you admitted that that dog pile of air will be generating a 14.7 psi down at my feet. OK, cool. we're on, on board so far. Okay, now what about the square column right beside me? So if I take a step to the left, oh, okay, well that one is also 14.7. Oh, what about if I go to the step in front of me? Oh, 14.7. See, I can just keep doing this right around the whole planet, can't I? Yes, I can. Well, every square meter of dog piled air is supported or constrained by the ones beside them. Do you get it now? So you don't actually need a container because it is all self-contained. Do I need crayons to draw this out for you guys? Just tie a knot in it. You don't believe me? Go out to your yard, run the hose in your front yard, and let me know when you have a swimming pool or any kind of water to swim into. How long are you gonna let your hose run in your fucking backyard? Backyard? Oh, hang on, man, I went and put it in the front yard, like you said. Hang on, gotta go and shift the hose. Just tie a knot in it trying to create a pool without a container. Okay, so if I wanted to fill my yard to one meter deep with water, what if all my neighbor's yards were also filled to one meter deep with water? I wouldn't need a container, would I? We all just support one another. Too easy, you're not thinking big enough. Just tie a knot in it. <laughs> While the rest of us are staring at you like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? No human being can be this goddamn dumb. Hey, keep your hands on the wheel while you drive. Can you not do that? That's a simple task. IQ 31 might be overstating it. And tie a knot in your balloon. For the love of God, you're embarrassing yourself. Let's see if any globe defender even attempts to answer one of these questions. Oh, wrong again. No, look, I'm here and answering your questions and Okay, maybe I'm doing a pretty good job of it too, because it is so simple, you just don't get that no one can really be bothered, mate. Just tie a knot in it. Should fear no investigation. The truth doesn't need to... Hey, keep your hands on the wheel while you drive. Hide its eyes and cover its ears like a fucking coward, and deflect and ignore. Simon Dan, I'm talking to you. Baldy conspiracy douche, I'm talking to you. Bob, the science illiterate guy, I'm talking to you. You have an answer? Okay, that guy. How about this? A practical demonstration. A pressure gradient due to gravity, or whatever, earth suck, whatever you want to call it, 
very easy to demonstrate. Just check this out. A water drink bottle, a couple of holes in it, fill it with water, and guess what? You can see that the top one has a lower pressure than the bottom one. The bottom one squirts out straighter. Can you see that? Can you see? I'm oh, sorry, you're not Antonio, are you? Do you see that? So now that you understand that there is a pressure gradient in a water bottle, which you can go and demonstrate yourself, it's exactly the same in that column of air standing right above your head. And go and put a shirt on, mate. Come on. It's 2019. Hey, did you like this, guys? Well, click like and subscribe and we'll do some more, eh?